The North South Commuter Railway Project, or NSER for short, is the new heavy railway that will span the western barangays of Metro Manila and its surrounding provinces, both north and south as the name suggests. The North South Commuter Railway starts off in the provinces of Mampanga and Talak, with two separate branches from Clark International Airport and New Clark City respectively, before converging and traversing south through the provinces of Pampanga and Bulacan and into Metro Manila. A branch then spurs from Solis to Manila to Zuban Terminal, with the main line continuing south before reaching the southern end at Calamba in the province of Laguna. Most of the railway utilises the existing rail corridor, which has either been disused, dilapidated or underutilised. Most of the line will be elevated, mitigating the risk of flooding on the railway corridor. When NSCR is fully operational, there will be three types of services, commuter, commuter express and limited express. Combining all three services, NSCR will run 10 trains per hour in every direction, with no fewer than 5 trains per hour served for all stations. In order to accommodate these operations, 65 brand new trains will need to be built. These trains will also be very long. Compared to MRT3 trains at 100 meters and MRT7 trains at 130 meters, NSCR will run 8 car trains at 160 meters long, with the potential to extend to 10 cars at 200 meters long. However, the North South Commuter Railway project will not all open at once. The first stage of NSCR will open between Tutaban and Malolos. This section will span 37 kilometers, comprise of 10 stations, and will open in 2021, with five additional stations to open in 2030. The second stage will extend from Malolos to Clark International Airport and New Clark City, spanning 74 kilometers, comprising of seven brand new stations, and will open between 2023 and 2025. The third and final stage of NSCR will extend south from Solis and Tutaban all the way to Calamba in Laguna. This section will span 56 kilometers comprised of 21 upgraded stations and will be targeted to open in 2025. With more roads and railway lines on the way for Metro Manila, we will soon be able to see Manila's transport woes finally eradicated and its transport system transformed once again.